are you going after Mike? I mean, the merger was my idea. I don't want trouble with you. Well, it's a little bit too late for that, isn't it? I'm going to remind you of a conversation, actually the first of many. It was the night I got back. My family welcomed me home. You pulled me aside. And you told me how vital it was that we take ELQ back from Valentine. That's what I believed at the time. And I didn't want to hear it then. And actually, truthfully, I didn't even really give a damn. You kept circling back. You did. And, and you were pressuring me to work with you, to reclaim it from Valentine. And so I did. I put it all on the line. I put Aurora on the line and you screwed me over. Welcome to the Quartermains, right, Ned? If you didn't like what you and I offered, all you had to a do- A figurehead position, out of the action. Why would I accept that? The family? Oh, I don't know, isn't that why we're doing this? You kept saying that ELQ should, should be under Quartermain control, but what you really under your control. I have given years of my life at ELQ. So did I. I was practically a kid when I took over because you, you, you walked away. My first to, to do something with music, then to be- I had to learn on the job and I did, and the company was profitable. The only time I took a leave of absence was to fight Nell for my son. And during that time, you lost ELQ to Valentine. It happened on your watch. And then what do you do to redeem yourself? You, you gift wrap ELQ and you give it to Valentine for a second time. Okay, don't worry about it, Michael. If it's any consolation, I'm sure Valentine is gonna double cross Ned probably sooner than later. And what are you gonna do when that happens? Hmm? You can have your hand out, ask us to kind of team together as a family, back each other up. Well, don't hold your breath.